Alex, what do these uh, satellite images show? Look, they're being closely watched and closely monitored by this group in the U.S. 38 North. And this group says that this shows that activity has resumed uh, at the country's main nuclear facility. What they are looking at in that image that has raised the most concern is a water plume coming off of the cooling water outlet. That is a distinct sign, they say, um, that shows that the reactor there is operational, though they can't glean uh, to what extent, what power, what strength that, oper uh, that reactor could be operational at. But this is a clear step forward uh, if you compare it to previous satellite images that 38 North had um, released earlier this month. Those images suggested to the analysts at 38 North that preparations were being made to make that reactor operational once again. At the time, we were seeing images of snow that had melted on the rooftop of some of the buildings, indicating that those buildings uh, were being occupied for the first time in some time and that there was minimal heat at least. So these latest images showing uh, that water plume are certainly a step forward. And this does raise concern. It does content, uh, continue to raise a awareness really for the global community um, in face of the fact that Kim Jong-un announced uh, back on New Year's Day that the country was getting ready uh, to test an intercontinental ballistic missile, which he said would have the capability uh, of reaching the continental United States. The activity that's being observed by 38 North here is at, again, the main nuclear facility in North Korea. It's the place where uh, analysts believe that the plutonium was made that has been used in previous nuclear tests, Samara. So we're seeing this increased activity as President Trump has been in office for a couple weeks now. Uh, tell us about, and are there any indications as to how North Korea plans to deal with President Donald Trump? Uh, it's interesting. It's the question on everyone's mind, of course, because you had Kim Jong-un coming out and making that statement that the country was getting ready to do that uh, test on New Year's Day. That's when he mentioned it. No clear timeline on when that test could happen, uh, but there are sources in both... Um, in the U.S. and also in South Korea, who have indicated that they feel that you know those tests, um, you know, could be very well uh, prepared for the next couple of weeks, for the next couple of months. That this is something that Donald Trump could face early on in his administration, an early test of this administration. Uh, at the time of Kim Jong Un's announcement that this test was being readied, uh, Donald Trump responded. President Trump responded by tweeting, "It won't happen," basically saying that North Korea wouldn't be allowed to do something like this. Um, it is not clear yet what Kim Jong-un's move will be when he could be ready to launch this test. But what you do have coming up is the fact that uh, the Secretary of Defense, Secretary Mattis, is making his first trip overseas to South Korea and Japan this week. That is meant to reassure allies of the commitment of the U.S. Uh, to their longstanding alliances here uh, at a time when those alliances have been questioned uh, by President Trump, who was vocal on the campaign trail, uh, raising concerns about the level of spending uh, that the U.S. was doing on defense in South Korea. So. This is certainly uh, a tenuous situation right now. Concerns in South Korea about the possibility of a test, and they want firm assurances from the U.S. that they've got a stable and reliable partner. So everyone will be watching this uh, trip from the Secretary of Defense later this week to see what kind of reassurances he's able to offer his allies here in South Korea.